and, and the fireball occurred as we were a little west of I-26, uh, so not far from GSP Airport, Greer, that area. You're one of many people who have since reported seeing this fireball. And the one thing I keep wondering, Frank, as I look at dash cam and social media video is what's going through your head when you see this thing? Well, at first I thought, oh, cool, the meteor. In, in the daytime, wow, you hardly ever see that. Um, actually, my daughter-in-law got a better look at it than I did because she was driving and I was looking down at my phone at the time. She just pointed and said, what is that? I looked up and said, holy cow, it's a, a meteor. Um, it, it was interesting. It was kind of red and yellow and kind of sparkly as it was uh, coming downward. And uh, it wasn't quite directly overhead, but uh, it was close to overhead. So uh, I imagine that if there were that it, as low as I saw the uh, the the, uh, the trace from the, the meteor going, the, the sparkly, fiery trace from the meteor going downward, uh, as low as that got, and it was seen fairly close to me, it, it, it occurred to me that it's possible a fragment of it could have reached the ground, uh, which would have been over toward Greer had that happened, because uh, we, again, we were on uh, 85, just west of 26, and I was looking kind of uh, to the right of the interstate a little bit. So uh, that, that would have put it over Greer or Lyme, Lyman, that general area uh, in upstate South Carolina. So if, if, if something would have hit the ground, that's where it would have been. So let me get your vantage point confirmed in my brain. So if you're on 85, are you going south? So this thing is going from your right, which would have been I guess I should say 85 South is essentially like you're facing West, right? So this oh, thing right. essentially would have went from your right, which would have been North to your left, which would have been South. Oh, right. That's we're heading toward Greenville. We're kind of between Greenville and Spartanburg where we were. So uh, heading toward Greenville. So uh, to, to the West due West would have been a little bit right of the interstate. As in, did facing you see, the did you see more than that. one or did you just see a singular? Just one. Okay. I don't know if you even had a chance to see yet. Um, there's a report out of Henry County, Georgia, just south of Atlanta, of roof damage allegedly from this thing. I, I mean, did based on your episode. based on your scientific brain, do you think that's the same fragment you saw? Um, it's hard to say. Uh, I I didn't really get a very good look at it. Uh, my my gut feeling is this a different this is a different fragment than than that because it appeared to be much closer uh, than you know, hundreds of miles. But you know, it, admittedly, with the, the short glimpse that I had of it, uh, I, I can't definitively say no. Just my gut feeling is that it was probably not. It was probably a, a fragment that was over upstate South Carolina or perhaps just into North Carolina. This might be difficult to say because I know you were in a car, but could you hear anything? No. No, I couldn't hear a boom or anything like that. How long do you think it lasted for? Oh, um, I saw it for literally one to two seconds. Uh, my my daughter-in-law, who was driving, probably saw it for a greater duration than I did. And of course, we're looking through the windshield, uh, so it may have lasted longer being you know, kind of above us. I imagine that she may have, and it may have been in her field of view for four, maybe five seconds. Have you ever seen a fireball or meteor before? Yes. Yeah, a couple of times. Okay. How did this compare to those other experiences? Um, this would be one of the most impressive ones. Uh, uh, this is only the second one I've seen during the daytime. Uh, the, the, the one I saw before was... Uh, living up in Pennsylvania, and uh, a, a, clearly a meteor fragment came down, and uh, that one almost certainly did strike the ground somewhere in central Pennsylvania, but uh, it was, uh, because that one I, I could see nearby, and uh, it, it was between me and a, a mountain there, so uh, I have no doubt that one did reach the ground somewhere, although I didn't see a like a, a cloud or anything from it. It was obviously very small, the one I saw up in Pennsylvania. But uh, as, as far as uh, brightness and appearance, it, it compares to that one uh, pretty well. Was there, was there any discernible reaction from other drivers on the road who may have also been experiencing this at the same time as you? 
Uh, I didn't see anything, no. Okay. Um, I didn't see anybody swerve out of their lane or anything. Um, I, I think most of the other drivers were, were focused on the road and probably didn't see it or just caught a glimpse of it the way I did. How would you describe, as somebody who saw it, the impact it had on the rest of your day? Was this like a thing you saw and then you just moved on with the rest of your day? Because as somebody who didn't see it, I can't stop thinking about it. Well, if I didn't have uh, Twitter X, uh, it probably would have not had a big impact on my day because I wouldn't have been able to look down and, and check that and, and so other social media in, uh, over the, the following hour and saw that a lot of other people spotted the fireball, that there may have been more than one. Uh, turns out it may have been a, a larger uh, a larger meteor that broke up or exploded over or near Atlanta, and then several shards of it ended up landing uh, as far east as South Carolina and North Carolina. Uh, so you know, that resulted in it having more of an impact on my day because I was really curious and kept checking social media to see what was going on. Yeah, there was like a whole FOMO factor, I think, to this. Right. Uh, you're a trained meteorologist. Uh, would you say your experience today is that your phone or your social media is blowing up? But this is not the field that you're actually trained in, despite the term being meteorologist. Yeah, exactly. That's one of the things about about meteorologists is because we tend to be the only scientist uh, around when something like this happens. So uh, if, if there's same thing with an earthquake or if you live in an area of that has a volcano, uh, if the volcano erupts or if there's an earthquake or if there's a, a meteor or some other uh, event that requires some scientific knowledge, they all go running to the meteorologist. Uh, everybody around will do that uh, because they're the only people who really are knowledgeable about science uh, uh, available. So yeah, that, that's one of the things that gets you thinking and, and trying to, to find resources to figure out what happened and uh, I, I, of course, I was the only thing I had with me was my phone, so I, I really couldn't do the things I wanted to do, like look and see if there was uh, something showing up on weather radar, or or looking at weather satellite. But uh, using social media, you, you know, you can uh, you can check that. And I saw that apparently uh, the uh, GO satellites mm -hmm. uh, lightning detection saw a couple of flashes over the Carolinas today. So that uh, that was probably the the some fireballs uh, from the little shards of the meteor that ended up over the Carolinas. Yeah, we know the National Weather Service office in Charleston at one point posted some lightning mapping data that showed something over the North Carolina Virginia line kind of along I-95. But mm -hmm. I mean, my eyes are going right to the data point you just mentioned, which is that a flash of light on the lightning mapper over Atlanta at about 1225. Mm -hmm. Anything else, Frank, that is worth sharing that I didn't think to ask you. Um, can't think of anything, James. It, uh, it's one of those things that if, if it would have happened years ago before social media, it you know, would have been, oh, that's cool. And you would have moved on and you know, maybe told somebody when you got home that evening, hey, I saw a meteor today in broad daylight. How about that? Uh, but since it's social media, uh, in the age of social media, you can connect with other people and, and find that literally hundreds, maybe thousands of other people saw it. It, it was a fairly impressive event. Uh, for uh, for a meteor event anyway.